safety. Now, it is incredibly slow. It produces a lot of pollution. It is by no means efficient. And uh, definitely the most useless form of transportation in this game to date. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Trailmakers and this is again the, the uh, alpha demo version of Trailmakers uh, and links for the devs are of course in the description. The devs have been really active and really talking to a lot of us and getting a lot of the bug feedback and they've also been posing these sort of challenges. And uh, I didn't realize when I was streaming this game originally, but you can actually make boats in this game. So there is the water, and uh, I originally thought all your vehicles just kind of went through the water and died. But in reality, tires float. And so if you put enough tires on a vehicle, like I've done here, and then and then put some thrusters on it. Oh, oh crap, we don't have reverse. Uh, we don't have reverse. Um, Alright, we're good, just glide straight. S slow down, slow down. No, no, that's a tree. That's a tree. That's a tree. So it is kind of nice that you can remap the keys. Uh, obviously, we should have put another thruster on. You know what? Let's put a let's put a reverse thruster. I feel like we're gonna need that. Hold on. So let's just do that here. We'll just go like this. We're gonna go to this thruster here. We're gonna click the config button, and we're gonna map this one to S. And now we should be able to drive around and press s and perfect and so with enough tires and the entire bottom of this does uh, you can't even no nope, no nope, we're stuck on a rock here hold on you can't really tell but the entire bottom of this design is covered uh with tires as well and so you see there we can just kind of drive into the water and we can float around and now we have a water car until it floats oh no stop don't flip Alright, we'll just flip back over there. Just uh, hit the respawn. No, no, hit the. No, no, stop. It's just, we're gonna. Okay, perfect. Yeah, buddy. No, we'll do it. Alright, you know what? We're just, we're just gonna go over here. And we're, we're just gonna spawn a new one. So I am obviously in sandbox mode. Um, this allows you to sort of fly over the train. It's kind of nice. All right, so we can go somewhere here. We'll just we'll just spawn another one of those. The vehicle submerged. That's nice. Don't really care, so we'll just get another one of those there. Perfect. Excellent. We're rolling. So this game is, is really awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm a really big fan. Obviously, even in sandbox mode, you can see we are limited to uh, only about 20 or 30 parts. I'm going to try and do some of the dev challenges as they post them. But, uh, you know, just obviously really silly things that can be done in the game. And one of the things they said can be done is this boat floats using tires. And the tires kind of keep it buoyant. And it, it you know, drives around with a thruster. And we'll just go all the way across there to the other shoreline. We can go in first person. And we can go in free cam. So that's kind of nice. But, you know, we can, we can make it all the way across there. Um, but one of the other things they said can technically be done is uh, a paddle boat. I decided to make a paddle boat. Now, the paddle boat basically works on a pretty uh, simple principle here. Hold on, if we can get in it here. So, you can see there, a lot more tires on uh, the bottom. A lot more tires on the bottom, a lot more tires on the sides. And uh, these extra tires here sticking out on these pontoons. And the paddles are actually, uh, they're, they're two thrusters, so they don't actually provide any forward thrust. They just counteract each other. But uh, they constantly uh, so hold on. So let's let's actually go and spawn this um, on a little bit more flat ground. If we spawn this, I just want to prove the point that uh, if we do spawn this and we activate the thrusters, so the thrusters are mapped to U and I, so U for the left one and I for the right one. And you can see there we aren't actually moving. If we go in uh, first person or we go in third person here, we don't at all move forward in any way. We just kind of rock back and forth. Um, and if anything, we're actually moving backwards down the hill and not forward. So I just wanted to prove that the thrusters aren't, in fact, powering it forward. There's no hidden thrusters on it. Um, but it does actually work. Right, so we can't actually spawn it here. We have, to actually, we have to actually be in sandbox mode and spawn it in the water. We just go over here, right next to the water here. And we just spawn it, like so. And we can just drag it in and kind of place it over the water there. Uh, this is going to be very difficult. It is facing the wrong way. Alright, you know what? That's good enough. It's facing sideways. Okay, perfect. So we'll just let it sit there and let it settle. Um, that's why it's got those big side sections of tires. So it will, in fact, settle. And then we can just uh, hop in here. We'll get in the seat. Perfect. Alright, so you just kind of hold two buttons. There is no reverse on this, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, if we hold U, 
the tires there will push themselves into the water and we'll be able to move along here quite nicely. Now it is incredibly slow, it produces a lot of pollution, it is by no means efficient and uh, definitely the most useless form of transportation in this game to date, but it is in fact a working paddle boat. It's kind of hard to tell when the paddles are moving quickly, but if you see them move slowly, you can actually see them go under the water and kind of push the boat forward a little bit and then come back up above the water. And so it seems to work. Now, I don't know if this is just, um, you know, a fluke with the thrusters in the water or something. Someone might be like, oh yeah, you know, your thrusters aren't actually counteracting each other, but they are perfectly symmetrical on the pivot point. So I assume it's, a, it's not a fluke, but we can just paddle along here quite nicely. Come on. Uh-oh. It's not in the water. It's too far out of the water. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go out to sea. This is this is super slow. There there needs to be. I need to make a faster version of this. I don't I don't know if you can make a faster version. I mean, we could strap thrusters to it, but that's not exactly a paddle boat anymore. I don't think spinning the paddles faster makes a difference. I think it's just going to cause problems. To be honest. All right, you know we're going to do it. Screw it. All right, uh, we're just swimming with the piranhas, perfect. So let's just try, and I can't even see here. This is very, okay, hold on, hold on, okay. The zoom control is very sensitive, and I don't think there's a way to adjust it. All right, let's do this. Come here, go perfect, just like, well, that's clearly the wrong direction. All right, just like that, perfect, and we'll just slap another one. I don't, I don't know if this is actually going to do anything other than just break the design quicker. I feel like, so these are, what are, what's the config on you? You're none. Well, why are you none? You were something. You're I. Okay, we're going to make you I. I. So I do like the fact that you can remap the keys. Um, it, it's kind of nice. And you can actually map them to anything. So you can have tons of like custom crazy controls, which is really kind of sweet because as they add more parts to the game and uh, more complex things are being created. Whoa, I don't know what just happened there. Um, but as they add more things to the game and more complex parts get created, it, it's going to be very easy to make really complicated walkers that involve like, you know, two hands on the keyboard and stuff like that. So that's going to be kind of nice um, and definitely a lot easier to, to work with. It's just riding that threshold where the guy wants to drown in his seat. We might need to put some tires on it. All right, let's do this. Is this, are we, are we moving quicker? We're producing more smoke. I think it, I don't know. It looks like it almost is moving quicker just because the paddles are heavier now. And so it sits down more. This was, this might actually just be doing better because you can see there that the tires are definitely going further below the water. This is awesome though. This is the dumbest form of transportation I think I've ever built in any sort of game. I mean, I had a paddle boat and scrap mechanic, but it was a hovercraft, so it, it didn't really actually paddle. I can't believe this works. Now someone's got to come along and make like a really, really big one. But it definitely works. Um, I can safely say I think the thrusters completely balance themselves out and there's no thrust being generated forward. So I'm going to say we are sinking. We are sinking hard. Okay, no, we're good. It seems to work really well. I mean, we're going to we're going to head over there to those objectives. This is disgusting, though. Look at the amount of smoke here. This is ridiculous. I can't believe this. But anyways, guys, make sure you guys, if you have any suggestions for crazy stuff to build, I think right now with the way the alpha demo is, I mean, we are very, very limited on parts. But, uh, you know, obviously, I want to try and build a more successful plane than anything I did in the stream. And uh, maybe try my, my hand at making something that flies only using thrusters, kind of like a hovercraft. But make sure you guys post your suggestions down below. Leave a like, as always. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, I think this is successfully completing the devs challenge. I think it works quite well. You can see there, even kind of proves that we don't have any forward thrust. When it gets up to the shoreline, it actually can't go up onto the shore. And you can see there, we're not really moving much. All right, here we go. We're going to rotate it a little bit. Got to get off this uh, water here. We might, need to, we might need to just move this with the build tool here. Probably shouldn't have gone so close to shore, I think. All right, let's just do that. Put it way out short. Perfect. We'll just get in there and repair it. All right. And we'll just give it the old... So there's an island way out there. I think that's just background, though. 
But I'm gonna just uh, put a block on my keyboard and let it sit here for an hour or two, and uh, I'll let you guys know what happens. Okay, I'm not actually going to do that, but make sure you guys hit that like button down below and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll post your suggestions for other Trailmakers things and other things you'd like to see uh, in this game. Obviously, it is very limited. I'm going to show you one last time just so you guys can understand. Here's the part selection, and uh, some of them don't actually work yet because, again, this is a very, very early stage of alpha, um, so there's not a lot that uh, we can really do. But if you have any suggestions for what you think, make sure you post those down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.